In today's video, we will learn about animation of text and stickers with the help of motion tracking and keyframes. Before we start, I want to quickly introduce to you Filmora Achievement Program. So in your Filmora account, go to Achievement and unlock your creator badges, win discounts, effects, cloud storage, free trial, premium functions. So how to get these badges? Well, first one is professional creator. If you create at least one video per week for a month, you get 30 days of effects and plugin license. Practice Squad gives you 3 days of Filmora free trial. Simply log in with your Wondershare account. Edit and export a video using AI Smart Cutout to get AI Explorer badge and you will win 5000 character text to speech. AI Magician will get you 30 minutes of speech to text. Simply edit and export a video using AI Audio Stretch and AI Audio Denoise. Now let's talk about animation of text using motion tracking. This is the stock media we will use for the gender reveal video. So let's add a quick text change it to it's a boy now the trick is if you are doing motion tracking of text do it first then only change the font size color etc because motion tracking might mess up with the location so this is the motion tracking hotkey click here and then you need to define the distinctive area of the original video or content which you are tracking so we will track let's say the head of this girl once you place the square at the proper place, click here to start the motion tracking. So it's done. Now the next thing you need to do is simply link the element to the text file. That is basic one here and it's done just like that. Now if you play the video, you can see that the text is following the head movement of this girl. It's such an easy and cool thing to do. Now you can change the font, size, color, most importantly place it anywhere on the frame. Now let me also quickly show you how to put the text behind the person. So that's also a very nice trick with Filmora 12. There is a feature called AI Portrait with which you can do it in few seconds. So double click the clip and above motion tracking you will find AI Portrait. So turn it on and with the help of AI the people on the frame will be isolated from the background just like that. Adjust edge thickness and edge feather. Copy this layer to the top. Then simply remove the effect from the original content. You can obviously duplicate the layer first, then apply AI portrait to the top layer. So that's how it's done. Next, let's try to do motion tracking for this sticker. I want to track this car. So let's do it like the way we did before. Click on the motion tracking key, then define the area I want to track. Start the motion tracking process. Then simply link the sticker. Now let's check what happens. We need to change the position of the sticker. Let's place it above the car and that's how it looks now. It's not staying above the car for the whole video. Also I want to scale this sticker to the car. No matter what we do, the sticker is not placed properly on the car. Also, we cannot change the size. So the best thing to do is keyframing. If you're a professional, if you want the perfect motion tracking, then this is the answer. So let's remove the motion tracking feature and we will use keyframing from this option here. Let's start from the first frame. Place the sticker at the desired place. Then you can click the position keyframe for the first keyframe. You can also scale the sticker just by sliding X or Y axis. They are locked. Perfect. We want to also add keyframe here for the scale that is the size of the sticker. Now the best thing to do is modify the keyframe for each and every frame of the video but it might not be possible so we can skip few frames here 
For demonstration today, I will add keyframe to every fifth frame. So I have added another keyframe. Now let's change the position, change the X axis and also increase the Y axis a little bit to place it a little higher. So that's good. Now let's check the next fifth frame. So let's modify the size and position. We will move the X as well as Y axis a little bit. Also, we will make it a little bit smaller. We will repeat this process for the entire duration of this video. It's done. So this is the result. Awesome. With keyframe, this is how you can do motion tracking manually and it's most accurate, suitable for professional work. That's all for today guys. I hope that it was useful. Comment if you have any questions. To download Filmora 12, simply Google or use the link in the description below. I have also listed all the Filmora 12 tutorials in a playlist. The link is in the description of this video.